Tennessee is now open pursuant to adjournment. All who have business for this court, draw near, give attention, and you shall be heard. God save the United States, the state of Tennessee, and this honorable court. Be seated, please. Good morning. Good morning. Mr. Gentlemen, does anybody need a new pen or pad? You ready to proceed, Mr. Freeman? Thank you. Your Honor, my next witness is Juliana Glasgow Trotman, and I believe she's here in the courtroom. And I'd ask that. Uh, Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Watch your step, please, here, and remain standing while I swear you in. Thank you. Raise your right hand, place your left hand on the Bible. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give in the cause pending is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Thank you, ma'am. Be seated, please. Ms. Trotman, uh, I'm going to ask you, be asking you some questions this morning, and what I'd like, what I'd ask you to do is to uh, address your answers to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury, if you will. I'm going to be back here behind the podium, and I'll try to speak up and ask that you do the same because of the acoustics here in the room. Uh, can you introduce yourself to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury? Good morning. I'm Juliana Glasgow Trotman. I'm a corrective massage therapist. <coughs> can you explain to the members of the jury what your background is and whether you're licensed to do what you do? Yes, I've been licensed to do massage therapy uh, since 1989. And I have been doing this for a living since then. Can you describe what activities you have with the licensing board here in Tennessee? I'm a member of the massage licensing board here in Tennessee at the moment. Please describe what type of <coughs> therapy you provide to individuals. Uh, the type of therapy that I do is mainly to correct problems. Um, I don't do the regular Swedish massage. I do deep tissue work, neuromuscular work, and myofascial release, which helps to relieve the muscular tear from tension and constriction to allow joints, vertebrae, and other forms of bones which is governed by the muscle to be free and to be able to move better and this relieves pain. Have you had an occasion to treat Mr. Crawford? Yes, I've, treated, I've been treating Mr. Crawford since last July. What I'd like to do is pass you these set of documents and have you identify those, if you will, please. You, you yes, have... these um, notes that I've kept from working on Mr. Crawford about what specifically I had done and what areas and the bills are also attached. Your Honor, I'd like to go ahead and mark that as an exhibit, please. Any objection? No, Your Honor. All right. These will be marked as the next number exhibit, which will be number four. Your Honor, we have an opportunity. I will probably need to use the uh, overhead. Ms. Trotman, can you describe the types of uh, clients or patients that you see on a regular basis? Um, I see everybody from all walks of life with all types of problems. Mainly people who are in some form of trauma who have been sent to me from a chiropractic office or a doctor's office because they have spe special needs 
and not just a regular person who wants an everyday massage. If they show up, I do do it. This is what I'm trained to do. But most people have come, and it's all by word of mouth. I do not advertise to me from all walks of life, like I said, lawyers, doctors, um, gardeners, builders, because they have some sort of problem that they want help with. Now, can you <clears throat> talk about the actual treatment that you, that you do? And, and that I'm trying to be as specific as I can. Uh, so that the, so that the jury understands the, the how much time you spend with the patient, whether it's uh, um, I spend anywhere from an hour to two hours on most treatments. When somebody comes in and they have a pain, they have a chronic situation, something that has been going on for a while, the must musculature of the body is really tight, it's compressed. The fascia, which is the outer circuit, like if you, if you look at a piece of roast beef, you see that white part that's on the outside, and then you see inside the same little things. That's the fascia, and it's three-dimensional. And when that tightens, it pulls the flesh in also. This creates problems on nerves, and may pull vertebrae together to squeeze discs, cause bulging discs, cause discs to rupture. Most people just know that they have a pain. They have no idea how it's, why it's happening the way, why they're feeling that pain. What I do in actual therapy is to work with the musculature to see what is happening with it and which form of therapy would be better for that person. Um, you can come in twice a week and on one day I can do my fascia release which is just releasing the fascia because that's where I'm feeling the constriction. Uh, the next day I would probably do neuromuscular or just deep tissue work. It's not pleasant, it's always painful and most of the time people are in pain. I have had people who didn't have pain, but had some discomfort, and, but by the time I get done with them, they were in pain, because that's the kind of work I have to do in order to get deep enough to get the relaxation and the release of the muscle so it doesn't squeeze the nerve and it doesn't pull the vertebrae or the joint or whatever together, depending on what is happening. This, the the treatment that you provide to your clients or patients, uh, is, is that a, what you would describe as a pleasurable experience for most? No, sir. Not at all. And I tell people when they call, I ask how they got my name, who referred them. I ask if they had a specific problem. And I explain to them that I do a special type of work, and this is not a pleasure massage, Everybody has got a tight muscle somewhere in their body. They may say, I don't have anything wrong with me. But when they get on the table, that is actually not the case. And I let them know that it's not going to be a pleasurable massage. Please, call someone else if that's what you're looking for. Now, there may be... Uh, the, the public, sometimes when you talk about massages, get a certain impression. All right. You have, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I, um, matter of fact, I stayed out of massage profession and worked in banking for 20 years because being the daughter of a minister, I did not want to be associated with something that had a sexual connotation. But as I got older and I knew what I wanted to do and I knew what my mission was, and I knew who I was and what I was going to do, I decided to do it. If people want to think that that's their problem, that's not mine, and when they come on my table, they're going to get a professional treatment, and if they get on my table with the wrong thing in their mind, they'll be sorry. <laughs> now, I want to draw your attention to Mr. Crawford's treatment. Uh, can you describe 
your first impression of Mr. Crawford when he came to see you? Um, that day I was sitting at the desk and through the bay window, one of my training, because I had several forms of training in body work, I just, what I'm doing is my forte, but I have other training. And one of them is to look at the person to see how they're standing, walking, you know, what their posture is like. And the first thing I saw when Mr. Crawford was walking in was that he had to have some discomfort because he was walking with his, like this. You know, when you're trying to get some ease down here, so you don't want to go this way because it pulls it. And so he was walking like that, and I thought, hmm. Oh. You know, and he came in and um, filled out his form and everything, and then I says, well, okay, I'll have to actually work with the musculature to see exactly what is wrong, even though I had an idea there was a back issue before he even walked in the building. Please describe what you found when you began the therapy. Um, Mr. Crawford had three areas that were particularly um, chronic restrictions. The first was right here in the cervical area. The second was in the thor thoracic area, just below the shoulder blade area and down. And the last one was in the lower back in the lumbar area. And at that time, I could not do exactly what I wanted to do on Mr. Crawford's body because I don't think he would have been able to stand the pain that it would have caused. So I had to start it off a little slower to get the muscles loosen up a little and the fascia a little loose so that I can get to go further. Um, Mr. Crawford came in at that time twice a week, which was very effective for him because I could get back to the musculature quickly before it regained its old position. We have memory in the muscles, in the cells of our body. And if you're for years doing this and this becomes constricted, and I loosen it up, after a while it would tend to do that again just from being that way for a long time, from memory in the musculature. <coughs> so you've got to do it often enough to open.